Hello ladies and gents, in this video we will install and configure UI5 Tooling CLI to benefit from a better development environment. UI5 Tooling will provide us with features such as a development server, builder, custom middlewares and more. In order to install it first let's initialize npm for our project so I'm going to open a terminal at the root level of my project and then run npm init-y. So we have a new package.json file now. And next let's install UI5 CLI globally first. So I say npm i dash dash global at UI5 slash CLI. Okay, I get a permission issue, so I will use sudo. And since we might have project specific configurations, let's also install it locally for our project. So npm install dash dash save dash dev to install it as a dev dependency. Then again at ui5 slash cli. Now if we check the package.json file, we see it as a dependency with version 3. And in order to initialize UI5 tooling, we now run UI5 init. And now you see a new file has been created for us, UI5.yaml, which has some predefined attributes. The spec version is the specification version for the tooling and each version adds new features. And metadata and under there, the name should be a unique name for the project and it should follow a namespace scheme. So I like to use the namespace of the application. So I'm going to say UI5 product.list. And for type, we again have four options, application, library, theme library, or module. And since we are building an application, we are going with application again. Now, in order to configure our UR5 tooling, we need to add a few lines to this file. We begin with framework. And with an indentation, we say the name is SAP UI5. And next is the version, which will be the UI5 library version. So I will just copy it over from our index.html file. And next we need to define the libraries that our application needs. So we say libraries and with the name attribute, we need the SAP UI core as always. We also need SAP M and let's also add another dependency for our theme. And the name is theme lib underscore SAP underscore horizon. And since it's not crucial, let's set it as optional to optional true. Okay, now our UI5 tooling is ready to be used. So let's start our development server and we simply say UI5 serve. And now we can see server started at this URL. Let's check if it actually works. go to index.html file and sure enough we can see our application working as expected. Now there are two useful parameters we can pass into UI5 serve command. The first one is dash dash port or dash p for short. The default port for HTTP is 8080 but we can specify whatever port we want. And the next one is dash dash open or dash o for short. And if you do that, it will open a browser window for you automatically. That's all for this video and I hope to see you in the next one.